everyone, this is Rebecca Jane from yogawithrebeccajane.com. Welcome to this 30-minute practice. So as we continue with our Winter Wonderland series, today is we're going to be um, focusing on arms and it's called Angel Arms. So we're in this kind of angel training program. <laughs> we're going to practice on a physical level and hopefully with the physical we start to feel more like an angel if that's possible. I laugh because there's a little devil on one side and angel on the other side of me and sometimes my devil is much bigger than my angel. So it's not an easy thing to, 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 to accomplish, to achieve. I, um, so we're going to be doing some arms. There's two types of poses um, in yoga. There's, there's, I, there's probably more, but two. There's the fallen angel we'll be doing today. And it's a side crow, side crow, but when you lean forward and your head touches the ground. We're going to do it on blocks it's, it, to make it very much more gentle than an actual side crow. This is a gentle, winter wonderland is not, in, there is some, I suppose, some intensive moments, but most of the time it's very gentle and, and uh, easygoing, fun, lighthearted. And then uh, we're doing a uh, angel, um, snow angel, where we are actually doing the snow angel on our stomachs. And the key to all these, much of what we're doing today is that there's the, the idea of your navel being pulled in towards your spine. I'll say that a lot. So you're in that kind of little cat shape the, for, I'm not the whole class, but during some of these, these uh, kind of stretches and strengtheners that you're pulling that navel up as if there's a string attached to the navel and there's somebody's pulling the string from behind you. Okay, that's, how, that's the only way I can really explain it. Two blocks, if you don't have two blocks, one is okay, but try, uh, two blocks are really ideal for this practice. Okay, so we're going to start with sitting for just the first, not for long, we're going to sit, take a moment, hands on thighs, we're going to enter into the world of winter wonderland. Ah, here we are back in the, you can pick where you are because today we're angels. So where does your angel live? Where does it reside? I'm still in the forest. I'm st because I, when I think of winter and um, and Christmas and the holiday season, I think of snow. Not everybody lives in uh, in. Uh, um, in areas where there's snow during winter. I mean, during the, uh, this time of the year. That's what I mean. So th let's begin to breathe in and out, just gently watching the breath, warming up those lungs. We're going to do a breath retention, two sets. And I will go through it again, how to do it. I'm going to take you through it. If you can't breathe in for that long, then you just cut it down. So we're going to take one breath in, and then we're going to exhale through the mouth, empty the lungs completely. Once you've emptied the lungs, pause at the bottom, then you're going to take an inhale through the nose. Maybe five counts, maybe six, maybe seven. And then you're going to hold at the top four to five to six, maybe longer. And then you're going to exhale, let it out. So the exhalation is as long as you can exhale till you can't exhale anymore and then pause at the bottom. You can exhale through the mouth if you like or through the nose and then come back. Let's do one more set of in inhale retention.
And once you do hold the breath, soften into it. So you don't hold it with uh, intensity or with strain. And then exhale. Let's, let's return to our even breath for three to four inhale counts to exhale counts. Inhaling and exhaling. And one more time, let's gently, let's transition onto our hands and knees. Let's slide your feet forward. I mean, excuse me, backwards. And stretch through the arms. Into your child's pose, feeling the stretch, th starting to bring your mind's eye to your shoulders, to those wings, shoulder blades. As your wings, the, your wings might be baby wings, little buds, or maybe they're, they're, they're adult wings. Let's come up to all fours and let's just press back into child's pose a few times, warming up the spine. And that's, you can do a neutral spine if you like, or if you feel like cat and cows where you arch your back as you float forward and then press back into the cat stretch. So keep going back and forth, curling toes under or not. So the wings are growing from your shoulder blades. And then let's come back up to all fours. And then let's flatten out those feet. Wrists are under shoulders. You're going to slide your right leg back and then lift your right leg up. Now, from here, I want you to take your tailbone, tuck it under, draw the tummy muscles in and up. Exhale, knee to nose. We're doing some glute work here. Inhale, reach that right leg back, still tuck the tailbone. Exhale, knee to nose. It's a very subtle movement. It's almost imperceptible, even for you. Knee to nose. And this time, I want you to reach that right leg back. Now let your tailbone tilt upwards and bend your right leg as if you're going to kick your right heel into your bottom cheek. Bring your right knee in towards your left leg and arch your back, stretching out that belly and then bring your right knee back and then press back into child's pose and then come back up onto all fours. Let's do a few more sets just to loosen up those muscles. Angel Apprentice. Let's come back to all fours. Inhale. Too much? Come onto forearms if it's too, too, if your wrists are beginning to hurt. Left leg reaches back. Make sure wrists are under shoulders. And then tuck your tailbone under. So pull the tummy muscles in and up. Exhale, knee to nose. Keep your gaze backwards. Keep the rounding of the back. Knee, knee to nose as you exhale. Inhale reach back. Exhale, knee to nose. This time reach back, bend your left leg, lift your heart forward, look forward, squeeze, bring your left knee in towards the center, so towards your right leg, and then kick the heel into your bottom. And then lower your left knee down. Let's sit back on our heels for a moment. Let's reach the arms up into these angel arms. So angel arms are not straight. There's a bend to it. Or, or, and then you're gonna, we're going to open the arms back, bend the elbows like a W shape, and then bring the arms in, and then open. We're going to do those a few more times, opening and cl closing. Cat and cows here. Let the arms become very, very kind of almost ripply. Open up the arms like water. It's strong, powerful, but flexible. And very graceful. And then bring the hands back underneath your wrists. Knees underneath your hips. Slide your knees back. 
Take an inhale and let's float forward. Coming into an upward facing dog variation and then press back through our cat stretch into our child. So we're gonna do a few sets of these. Inhaling forward, exhaling, rounding, working these arms, strengthening. And then coming back up to pressing into your child's pose. Let's come back to all fours. Knees are under, hips, wrists are under, shoulders. I want to take your left leg out to the side. And press into the outer edge of your left foot. The toes are pointing forward. Bend your left knee, and I want you to bend and straighten. You could do this with straight arms, or if you want to go a little lower on those elbows, to go deeper into that hip joint. So angels are graceful, but they're strong at the same time. Yin and yang, feminine and masculine. Let's walk our hands back up. Keep your left leg straight. This, now take your right arm out to the side. So it's going gonna, it's gonna to be a palms down. And then left leg lifts. So you're going alternate leg, alternate arm. This is a preparation for our draw the tummy muscles in and then lower that right hand down, left knee down for the fallen angel. Exhale, press up, downward facing dog. Get a nice stretch here. And then inhale, lower the knees to the ground. Let's do the other side. Right leg out to the side, straight leg first. To begin, toes pointing forward, outer edge of that right foot on the ground, and then start to bend and straighten you. So you're going to these side lunges. Maybe the forearms on the ground. You can even use blocks. Blocks are to bring the ground closer to you. It's great for to enhance flexibility if you cannot especially touch the ground. And then come back up nice, come back onto your hands, straight arms. Straighten your right leg, left arm reaches out to the side, palms down, and then lift that right leg off the ground. Pausing, now remember, draw tummy muscles in and up so that your glute muscles are doing the work, not your tummy. And then left hand down, right knee down. Take an inhale and exhale, press up, downward facing dog. Walk your hands a little further forward. Let's take a few little bends and straightening. Take a little walk through those legs, loosening up those hips. And then walk your hands to your feet. You're at the back of those mats. Bring your hands behind your calves or ankles, or maybe place your hands on your heels on your hands. Cup those heels. That's really dependent on your flexibility. And let your pull your forehead toward your shins. Back tender people. Knees are always bent. Breathing in and breathing out. Those that don't have back, tender backs, can straighten them. And then bring your hands forward one at a time. Bend the knees. Let's start to roll ourselves up to our Tadasana, our mountain pose. Reach the arms up to the sky. Coming into, I'm going to just turn so you can see what I'm doing here. Open the arms into those angel arms, bending elbows, elbows back. And then we're going to do the same thing standing, round the spine. Bring the arms together, just touch the fingers, and then open back up. Warming up our wings, opening up, stretching. So getting a nice chest stretch, back stretch. So by bending your elbows, you're actually strengthening your shoulder blades. One more time, forward, and then lift the arms up and open the arms out to the side. So you're now nice and tall, arms opening up, palms up to start. Now just flip your right palm down, leave, leave your left palm up. From the shoulders, I want you to 
alternate. So you're going to flip right palm up, left palm down, and you're going to go alternate between this, these two palms up, palms down. You're going, by doing this, you're going to notice that your upper, your torso will sway from side to side. There'll be a little twist here from your shoulders. Breathing in and breathing out. So what does this have to do with yoga? Yoga is what this is, has to do a lot with yoga because we're strengthening arms. Release the arms down. Let's do a few little rolling of the shoulders. Feel free to add the feet to this. Rolling up to, onto your toes. Rolling the shoulders back. Shoulders up and roll back down, rolling onto your toes. One more time, inhale, lift the shoulders up and roll them back down. I'm back at the back of my mat, sweep the arms up, fold forward, forward fold. Walk your hands forward back into downward facing dog. And now we're going to go and do the next thing, come into plank. Pause in plank, wrists are under shoulders. And then you're going to lift your right leg out to the side just a little bit and left hand out to the side, just like we did on our hands and knees. If this is not working for you, then come onto your hands and knees, do the same thing again. Breathing deeply and then lower that left hand down, lower that right foot down, downward facing dog. And then inhale back into plank. So as I said, yeah, this is not an, uh, you know, it's a gentle but strong class as well. So now we're going to lift our left leg up and to the side a little bit. And then right arm reaches out to the side, breathing in balance. Hard work. Lower the hands down. Lower the knees down. Come all the way down onto your belly. Make a little pillow with your arms. Place your right cheek on the pillow. Let the legs widen. Little sways from side to side. How does that feel, yeah? And then bring your, just place your left cheek on the pillow. Keep the ujjayi breath moving. We're not resting. We're not there yet. And then from here, let's, let's come into our um, snow angel. Open the legs wide, arms wide. So you might have to find space to be able to, if you don't have a big room or and what we're going to do here, foreheads on the ground. Now remember that strings attach to that navel and the navel is being drawn up through the back and that's where it stays. Take an inhale and then exhale, arms lift, legs lift, and then lower down, exhale. Inhale, lift arms and lift legs. If that's too much for both, then just do the arms. Keep the legs on the ground. Inhale, lift both. Exhale, lower down. Draw tummy muscles in and up. Lift up. This works our glute muscles, our lower back. One more time. Inhale, lift and hold. Now draw tummy muscles in and up, even though you could barely feel it working. And then lower back down. <laughs> Hands underneath your shoulders. Slide your legs together. Lifting up. Pressing up, downward facing dog. <laughs> taking an inhale and then exhaling let it go let's take a nice little saunter to the front of the mat that's is where your blocks are at the front at the highest point hands on the tops of those blocks if you don't have blocks you can place your hands on your shins let's lift up halfway Let's exhale, forward fold. So when you forward bend, you look back, you take your tailbone, tuck it under. Inhale, lifting up, still tucking up halfway. Then exhale, let's release the hands from the blocks and slowly ease ourselves up, lifting up, lifting those gorgeous arms up to the sky. Hands to heart. So what we're going to do here, we're going to come into a, a chair and take your hands on the blocks. So we're going to do the same thing we did on hands and knees. I know this was done in one of my classes last week. 
So, but I wanted to do it again because it's quite effective. Bend the knees, hands on the blocks, and then take your right leg, reach it back behind you, just like knees. But your bottom leg, there's a bend to it. Tuck your tailbone under, look down towards your left foot the entire time. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, reach back. Controlled. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, back. Exhale, knee to nose. And this time, exhale, inhale back. Straighten that right leg. Straighten your lower leg. Bend your right leg. Lift your chest forward. So you're in that shape of a cow. And then lower your right foot down. Just let yourself settle down for a moment. Forward bend. And then lift back up. Bring your feet closer in again. Another, the other side. Left leg reaches back behind you. Tuck your tailbone under. Knee to nose. Exhale. Inhale. Reach that left leg back. Exhale. Knee to nose. Exhale. Reach it back. Knee to nose as you exhale. Inhale. Reach that left leg back. Straighten that right leg. Straighten that back leg. Bend your left leg. Lift your heart forward. Lower your left foot down. Forward bend. Move the, keep the blocks just at the front, but flatten them out because we're going to come and visit them in a moment. Step back, downward facing dog. Oh, stretch it out. <sighs> Rolling up onto your toes. If you need it, and then come onto your knees. <sighs> okay, so we're going to come, we're going to do our fallen angel v variation. It's really a side crow. So if you know what a side crow is, why not do the side crow? But we're going to do this variation. Bring the blocks back behind you towards the bottom of the mat. And then come on, place them under your shins. So bring the blocks together. They're under your shins. Just sit for a moment. You can curl the toes under. You like a little bit of a stretch in your feet. And then... Come on to all fours. Elbows are bent. So you're just, you're bending those elbows. You're squeezing the elbows in towards each other. So you might have to bring those hands a little further forward. And then from here, you're going to take your left leg back. And it's, if it's a side crow. So you're going to your right elbow will bend a little bit more than the left elbow and it hovers. And then you can open your left leg and then bring your head towards the ground. If you can touch the ground, that's great. So this is a fallen angel. A variation of it. This is a nice way of building the strength. And then lift back up. Place that left shin on the block. Just sit up tall for a moment. You can feel actually your heart rate, even though it's not as difficult as... Um, of, you know, without the blocks. Come on back up to all fours. Bend the elbows so they're both even for the moment. Extend your right leg back. Remember, tuck your tailbone under the same type of, uh, um, you know, abdominal, the, the tucking of the tailbone we've been doing the whole time. Open that right leg out. And then left elbow lowers down a little bit more, but it's hovering. It's not laying on the ground. It's hovering. And then you take your head to the, towards your left hand. Tuck your tailbone. So keep that um, into the integrity of your pelvis the entire time. You don't want to lose that. And then come back up. And then... Move the blocks away. So this, uh, for anybody that might be interested in knowing what we just did, without blocks, you take your hands, it's a side crow, you take your hands outside. I'm not going to show you uh, in detail. And then you lean into your left arm. Oh, excuse me, you have to come onto your toes. Lean down, and it looks like this. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> I have, I have to be honest, I have not done a side crow in a while. 
So it's the fallen angel. <laughs> Woo! Just to, just so you have a visual of what we did if we didn't have the blocks to assist us. Okay, you obviously do the other side as well. I think that will be my practice today, is to practice those side crows. Let's swing our legs forward towards the front of the mat. Let's ease ourselves down onto our backs. Let ourselves rest. Our angel, we've worked hard as apprent angel apprentices, haven't we? Let's come into happy baby. Take the hands inside the feet or outside the feet, elbows outside your shoulders, and let's just get a few little rocks in if you'd like, just to lo get into, loosen up those hips. And then let's take your right leg, cross it over your left. This is called a twisted root. You can either just keep them crossed or take your right foot and tuck it under your left, left uh, ankle and then drop knees over to the left, arms out to the sides, palms up. Gazing over to your right arm. If that doesn't work for you, take the, untwist those legs. Just keep the, just stack the legs on top of each other. So as you could see, we spent a lot of time in that cat shape, which it, it, by doing that, your pelvis, by tucking and doing a lot of our, using that for a lot of our poses and exercises, lift back up and uncross your legs, hug your knees into your chest. It then, and then cross, twist your left leg over, maybe tuck that left foot and then drop your knees to the right, open the arms out to the sides, palms up, turn and gaze to the left. So what it does is it, it, it forces your glutes to have to, do, it fires up your glute muscles. If you're arching your back or it's even neutral, you use less of your glutes. And those are those bottom muscles, massive, the largest muscles in your body. So that's the purpose, you know, why I'm, asking you to continuously kind of reconnect with that little, that shape. Lift your legs back up. Let's uncross your legs. Let's hug your knees into your chest. And let's extend your left foot to the left corner of the mat, right to the right. We're going into our Shavasana, our final resting pose. Just do a little wiggle. Your shoulder blades, your wings, or sliding down your back, and then you're gonna let the whole entire body melt. Chin is slightly tucked, you want it slightly, you want a little double chin. Let yourself just melt into the mat, bone by bone, skin by skin, muscle by muscle. Hmm. And you remain here for about two to five minutes. 30 minute classes, two, maybe three minutes. Resting, letting your body assimilate what just happened. But as you're resting, I will come up to seal the practice. So Angel, part of this series of Winter Wonderland. So working the arms, the backs, the shoulders, trying something new. It's always fun to try something, just to play. And that's what this is about, being playful. Not putting yourself in any kind of danger or anything, but playing in these different, these poses that are not 
are, are relatively safe. And as I bring my hands in front of my heart to seal this practice, I hope you enjoyed it. This is Rebecca Jane from yoga with RebeccaJane.com. Namaste.